welcome back to my channel. Welcome back to a brand new video. Today I have a winter haul for you. I thought I would share with you some of my new in pieces. I've put in an order for Abercrombie & Fitch. Got loads of nice cozy knitwear, a couple of new trousers. And then I also popped into Tesco's recently and got loads of bits from their kind of clothing range to try on and see what items I wanna keep. You guys can help me out, give me your opinion. Without further ado, if you wanna see some nice new cozy winter fashion, couple of other bits as well which I'll throw in at the end of the video like Amazon order for good gift ideas for um, people for Christmas with Christmas right around the corner. Um, same with the fashion items though as well. I feel like whether it's a gift from you to you or I always used to love opening something on Christmas day that I could wear on Christmas day, whether it be a new cozy jumper or a festive dress, whatever it may be. So yeah, I think clothing is a great item to gift as well, as is jewelry. And I actually am working with PD Paola on today's video. I have selected four new items of jewelry, which I'm gonna share with you. Again, make incredible gift ideas. And what's more, I do have a discount code with them. So if you want to get money off, all you need to do is enter Freya F 15 at checkout. Make sure to take advantage of that. Any last minute gift ideas, I always think jewelry is a safe bet. So let me show you those items first. This is the brand, if you're yet to hear of PD Paolo, look how festive this packaging is. I picked up two rings, so I'll show you these two together and I'll actually put them on as well for you. So what I particularly liked about both of these, especially as gift ideas, is that they are kind of adjustable. So if you're a bit unsure on sizing, then I feel like with these ones, you've got a bit of leeway. So I ordered this one in a small size to be able to fit on my baby finger. But again, if I needed to, I could probably fit it on a different finger as well. But yeah, that is what this one looks like. Nice and simple gold. And then this one, I like the idea of mixing metal, starting to wear a bit more silver. And I think a good way to kind of mix metals is to have one with a bit of glitz like this. So I'm gonna put it on my ring finger of the opposite hand and then switch this one over to my other little finger. So you can see what these two look like. Let me know which is your favorite of those two. And then I also picked up two more items. Firstly, a pair of earrings. I feel like I can't put in a PD Paolo order without ordering some earrings. They especially have some gorgeous selections for the festive season with a bit of sparkle, that extra sparkle. For instance, these. Now you guys know I love wearing kind of huggy style small hoop earrings just on an everyday basis. And these ones are just slightly bigger than what I would ordinarily go for. And as you can see there, a little more glitzy as well. I'm a bit closer up so you can see there how pretty they are. And then last but not least, I have a necklace. And again, necklaces make great gifts. This is the design that I have picked out and it's kind of like a chain style with just again the little touch of glitz there just minimal though and then they also have different items to suit your budget they even have on their website a whole gifting kind of tab where you can gift and shop by budget so yeah well worth checking out pd paula for christmas gift ideas i will leave a link to them in the description box below and don't forget to use uh the discount code freya f for money off. So thank you to them for working with me on today's video. I'm gonna move on now to, I think I'm gonna share with you the Tesco's bits. I feel like everyone loves a supermarket purchase here on this channel. Let me start with some cozy loungewear. I've got a couple of sets and this first set has to be my favorite. It's in a gray and it was on sale. So the bottoms originally were 16 pounds and they were reduced down to just 12. Now, if you do go out to buy these size down in these, I would never ordinarily wear a size eight. However, in these I have picked up an eight and there's still like a bit of room. So they're definitely roomy, these ones. They are so soft that they just like hug your figure really nicely. They feel more like, if I'm completely honest with you, more like kind of, verging on in the house loungewear like slash pajamas they're that soft they're thicker than pajamas though so you can obviously wear them out and about i think i would wear them with the matching hoodie and like a coat thrown over the top some uggs if i were to wear them out i wouldn't just wear them on their own hoodie simple lightweight and so so soft and cozy and i absolutely love that one the hoodie I got in, what size did I get in this one? I think I sized up to a 16 and it was 
full price 16 pounds again reduced to just 12. now this next loungewear set that i picked up i will be returning just because i find it quite staticky which is a real shame because i loved the um color of it and everything it's from the mrs hinch range exclusively for tesco's 19 pound 50 the bottoms are and also i wasn't really sure on the bottoms they kind of balloon out around the ankles and the top is also 19 pound 50 so same price the top and bottoms lovely set shame about that static energy if this doesn't scream cozy then i don't know what does this is like a cloud it was from the active section and it's just a cozy top i got it in a size 12 i'd say size up in this one and um, it was 29 pounds and i feel like this is going to be perfect for a kind of winter getaway that i might be going on with tom in february you'll find out more about that in maybe what i got for christmas video but yeah this is just going to be so so cozy in winter especially the cold weather we've been having lately okay and then i also got this as a jumper dress i did size up so that i could wear it as a jumper dress in a size 20 and it was 19 pounds and 50 pence it is a little um thinner so i feel like this one especially with the v-neck feel like it's the sort of jumper dress that you'd wear with boots to just like a pub lunch not actually out and about in winter because it's a bit too cool for that you know if you're just literally going from the car into the pub for a nice roast dinner that's kind of what i was thinking when i picked this one up i'm loving striped tops still i know they were a huge trend i still feel like uh, i don't know i just really like the look of them so i picked up this one with this kind of like crew neck you know almost like sportswear style collar that uh is just very simply striped in cream and black again this is so soft the material that they've used for this honestly feels like a pajama top it's so so nice it was 16 pounds and i got it in a size 12 then this i absolutely love the color of this it's kind of like a darker oatmeal they even had a darker one than this but i thought i'd opt for this lighter one i got it in a size 10 it's just a high neck rib knit vest again so so soft not scratchy at all this one 19 pounds and 50 pence that seems to be a regular price doesn't it amongst these 19 pounds and 50 pence i personally layered it up with a long sleeve top which i've actually got on today because it is cold so i like to layer up with my thermals but i think you could get away with wearing this in between seasons as well so like even into spring just without anything on underneath to wear something like this but under a blazer so when you've got your blazer on you can't tell that it's sleeveless it just looks like a jumper that you're layering up under a blazer and then last but not least from the fashion in tesco's i just got a couple of basics i got this in fact both of these are from the men's section um i got this long sleeve top with just a pocket detail it's in a really nice kind of cream color this one and this one i got in a small it was 12 pound 50 it's a really nice thick um cotton this one so yeah i love that and then last but not least a basic black tee in a large men's large at five pounds they had all the colors uh, but i just wanted to pick up an extra basic black tea so that is everything that i got from tesco's no it's not i got one thing from like the non-fashion section which i thought i would show you i'm not going to use it this year i am going to put it away for next year um as decoration mainly but obviously you can use it and fill them as well but it's a little advent calendar set of boxes so the pack actually includes eight small boxes eight medium boxes eight large boxes with little wooden pegs and numbers and paper strings so that you can have them hanging as like a garland on like a fireplace again as decor you could actually fill them and put some little personalized treats in so maybe not every day is a christmas chocolate it might be a little gift um just a really nice way to kind of do a diy advent calendar and this was so cheap as well i think it was about three pounds four pounds sorry four pounds the next up let's go in with abercrombie and fit abercrombie is one of those brands that i just feel is so underrated i absolutely love it i've even got tom onto it now and he is obsessive over these tops that he's found like these quarter zips they're just so soft and cozy and he's got their hoodies as well really good for basic capsule pieces that you want to add into your wardrobe all year round but um i wanted to try their vegan leather trousers which i've heard amazing things about and i picked up two styles i have decided between the two which one i'm keeping 
in fact the ones that i'm keeping i've already worn twice so yeah already goes to show i'm gonna get my wear out of them but these are what they look like the only real difference between these two i think personally when trying them on one's called the ankle straight ultra high rise and it's just like a basic straight kind of um fastening at the top whereas this one the one that i'm keeping and the one that i've worn is called the 90s straight ultra high rise in the curve so it just fits my waist a little bit better to be completely honest with you i wish i'd have sized down i got a 29 waist i wish i'd have gone for a size lower because they are quite forgiving they're not really tight and restrictive these pants they're quite soft and flexible so so comfy they've got this inner liner which is like kind of like cozy fleecy super soft material I also opted for the jean version of that same kind of cut at the front as the vegan leather trousers that i'm keeping which you might be able to see a bit better on the jeans is kind of like an asymmetric design whereby it kind of like folds over which i personally think especially if you are a bit curvy on the bottom then it, it just really helps silhouette your frame and just makes your bum look good and your waist looks smaller so yes this is again in a size 29 curve love the 90s straight ultra high rise jeans and they're just a really nice color they do have lots of different colors but i just opted for the classic kind of washed denim look I did get a lot of these in the black friday sales as well actually so i'm not talking prices of these ones because i feel like they've probably changed whether or not they've gone back up to full price or been reduced further i'll just leave links below so that you can shop through if you like the look of any of these okay leggings you all know i absolutely rave about the lululemon align leggings they are incredible but i do have one pair of abercrombie leggings which i'm actually wearing today and they are so comfy these are like a super soft buttery kind of texture that are just so comfortable they're more affordable than the align ones as well i think because of the material they just come across for me anyway i feel like a little more casual than the align leggings the align leggings i feel like you could dress up quite nicely whereas these ones are very much relaxed cozy at home walks just comfy i got them in a medium next up i got this plaid shirt which was from the men's section i've actually got this to share with tom because he's bought a couple from abercrombie and i love them so i got a large which is what he wears this is a 90s overshirt and the ones that he's got i'm not really a fan of the color for me but this one I would wear, so I feel like we could joint wear it. We can co-own this shirt. And then I also got some cozy knitwear. So first thing I'll show you is the dress because I think I'm gonna return this one. I just don't think it suits me to be completely honest. It's nice and cozy, nice and soft. It's quite thin, so you do have to be careful what underwear you wear with it. I just, I got it in a medium and it's kind of a bit more silhouetted. It's got a high neck. It's a bit more silhouetted whereas i prefer if i'm going to wear a jumper dress i think for me and my shape it needs to be quite loose and boxy rather than fitted then this is another one that i am going to return because of the other two well i've got two more but this one is my least favorite because of the material it doesn't feel quite as soft as the other ones it's nice and thick and it's not scratchy but it's just not as soft as the other ones and also the color of it you know sometimes when you order a cream jumper or two cream jumpers one looks almost pinky in tone let me know if you know what i mean by that that is this color so on its own like this you guys are probably looking at that going what pinky but when you compare it to like this cream jumper which i'm keeping it just has a tinge to it which i'm not really a fan of so i am going to return this one um i did get it in a medium just for side size reference when you can see me trying it on and then this one i love this one i love it because i found a high roll neck that isn't uncomfortable because if it's too tight and restrictive i feel like i can't breathe and this is going to be good for um layering up i feel like for my little winter getaway that if i could wear like a thermal base layer and then pop this over the top it's going to be perfect so it's a nice cozy high neck i have heard a little trick as well online that if you spritz the neck with a little bit of hairspray when you put it on and you've got makeup on that it's less likely to transfer so i might try that with this one because that's the only problem with high neck 
jumpers in a cream. This last item that I got from Abercrombie is definitely one that I'm keeping. It's just a good staple um, jumper, which is kind of like a round crew neck. I'm showing it the wrong way around. It's a good basic, which also has a bit of a split on the bottom, long enough to wear with leggings, short enough to be able to tuck into jeans. It's just a good classic staple essential item that I know is going to get so much wear. The only thing is it's so soft and cozy now. I, I just hope it washes well. You know when you get a brand new item and it just feels so nice and then if you wash it and it just starts to lose that cozy soft feeling. Hopefully, fingers crossed it will wash well. But yeah, absolutely love that one. That's everything that I got from Abercrombie. I'll show you a couple of bits that I also picked up from at um, Amazon, which again, make some great gift ideas. I got this barber scarf, which I just thought was a good classic. It was unisex. So I guess you could give this to anyone. That's the design of this one. It's just very simple. It's not the traditional kind of barber tartan. It's just a plain dark gray. Then I also got some cozy slipper socks. Always make a great addition to a stocking filler in my opinion. You can never have too many. And this one has uh, the grippers. These were so affordable. I take these home for Christmas so that I've got a fresh pair. I've got fresh PJs that I've been saving for going home to my family for Christmas. So I'll put these with them as well. Again, I'll leave all of these items linked below. I do have an Amazon storefront. So again, that will be linked if you just want to shop through to there. I also picked up these belts from the Amazon fashion section. This black one has more of a kind of leather grain texture to it, whereas this one's more smooth. And they just kind of look like the Isabelle Morant belts where they kind of tie in a knot. I got these sloggy bras and I've such great reviews on these and I've heard amazing things. So the, because of the thickness of the strap, they're super supportive, but there's no underwire. They're very comfortable, although there is like a kind of padded shape to them. So these make for great bra, like everyday bra top type things to wear under like jumpers to layer up so that you feel nice and supported, but very comfortable at the same time. So I got the black version in a medium for myself. And then I also picked up the kind of neutral, I say nude shade, but obviously everyone's skin tone is different. And they did have other lighter ones. They had darker ones. So this one for me, I just feel like is a nice, good staple to wear. Like if I'm wearing white, I also picked up some pajamas and these are the super soft bamboo ones. I have these in white in a short version. I picked these ones up as a gift for someone this year. So I'm going to keep them all nice and folded neatly, but they're just the classic kind of piped design collared um trouser and long sleeve top pajamas with a little pocket detail so soft and cozy and comfy and they feel quite weighty as well which is really really nice and i got this for like when it's really cold it's one of these kind of um hoods but you've also got this inner liner on the inside of the hood so you can bring it up to above your nose so it's literally just your eyes on show and then also um i've got this beanie hat again for our little winter escape i feel like this is going to come in very handy so it's a little calvin klein you can see it's got the logo on there beanie hat and then last but not least i did treat myself to a pair of chloe glasses now i had a voucher very kindly from Amazon themselves. So I put that towards these and yeah, I thought I would treat myself. I'm loving Chloe at the minute. I've got a couple of their bags now, their shoes. I just feel like they're a really nice designer brand that are a bit more timeless. They're not really trend led. I love the kind of beige gold kind of tones that they do in a lot of their stuff. They're a bit out there for me, I'm not gonna lie. They are a big, I wanna say aviator style, but they're actually like quite square. I don't know if they're a bit too retro for me. Look at me, I'm already doing peace sign because I've got sunnies on. But um, I'm just looking in the mirror. But yeah, I love the color of them and that kind of warm ombre lens, very brown and gold and tortoise shell on the back. So yeah, anyway need to get a summer little getaway planned now we are thinking maybe possibly as it starts to get a bit warmer trying out new york going to visit there so if you've been let me know any recommendations that's everything that i picked up everything new in some gift ideas it's so close to christmas and you want to put in an order of something then hopefully i've given you some ideas and yeah thank you once again to pd paula for very kindly sponsoring today's video I'll just show you a close up of the jewelry that i have selected this time round don't forget to take advantage of the offer on freya f 
15 at checkout. I'll leave the link below. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you guys have enjoyed. Thumbs up if you did. And I hope to see you all very, very soon in my next video, which will be Vlogmas, driving home for Christmas, coming on Sunday. Have a lovely rest of your day and I hope to see you all then. Bye guys.